You can use Zoom for conducting student office hours by using your personal Zoom meeting room. To do this, access Zoom in one of your courses and click on the Personal Meeting Room tab at the top. Here you will find information about your own personal Zoom meeting room. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will see the button to edit this meeting, where you can customize features about your personal meeting room, including the passcode, the waiting room, and other features. To make your personal meeting room available to your students for virtual student office hours, start by scrolling up to the Join URL. Highlight the URL, then right-click and copy it. Next, go to your course homepage. You'll want to make sure that you set aside a portion of your homepage to provide information about virtual student hours. Here you can see at the bottom of my course homepage, I have information about what my student office hours are and how students can connect to them. I'm going to edit my homepage. I'll scroll down to the section that mentions my student office hours. I'll highlight some text that I'm going to use for my link. Click the link icon and choose external links. In the link text box, I'll right click and paste the URL that I copied earlier. I'll click done and then I'll click save. I now have a clickable link on my course homepage to access my personal Zoom room, which I can now use for virtual student office hours. You can repeat the same process in your other Canvas courses. Keep in mind that your personal Zoom meeting room is a single room that is universal across your entire Zoom account. So the same link can be utilized across multiple courses. To open your personal meeting room, you can actually follow the same link that your students would follow. Simply go to your course homepage and click the link. If you see a prompt that says, please wait for the host to start the meeting, this simply means that the Zoom application does not realize that you are the host. At the bottom, you will see a link that says log in. Click that link and log in with your CVTC credentials. While you are in your personal Zoom meeting room conducting virtual student office hours, it's recommended that you keep the waiting room turned on. That way, if a student comes to see you, and while you're working with that student, another student comes to see you, that second student will not interrupt your conversation with the first student. To turn on the waiting room, go to the security button and make sure that enable waiting room is checked. If you want to see if anyone is in your waiting room, you can check by clicking on the participants button at the bottom. If there is someone in your waiting room, you will see waiting room listed at the top, along with the person's name down below. You can click admit to let them into your room or remove to not allow them into your room. Alternatively, you can click on the message button to send them a message in the waiting room. This can be useful if you need a few minutes before you allow that person in. You can type a message to let them know that you will be with them shortly.